Hello and welcome to another FIFA experiment video. In today's video we have made a European Super League. I've used the top 20 teams according to fifaindex.com. I'll link it in the description so don't get mad if your favourite team's not on here. But I'll scroll through them. They're all 4.5 or 5 star rated. As you can see there's like Barcelona, Bayern, Inter etc. My issue is I'm going to have to control one of these teams and not get fired and as you can see by their domestic success thing. They all think they're winning the league. So the only one that doesn't have it as high or critical is Leicester. So I'm going to have to control Leicester and hope we just don't get fired for the simulation. Someone's going to have to get relegated from this league. And also there's obviously going to be a champion. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Okay, I'll turn the Champions League off. But I was going to turn the transfer window off. But realistically, they're probably all going to transfer over each other. So I'll keep it on to see what happens. Keep all this the same. Like my last experiment video, I won't be playing anything. I'll literally just sim and see what happens. I'll come back at the end of the first transfer window to see if there's any transfer, see how the league's looking. Then the same again in January. And then I'll come back at the end and see who's won what cup and who's won the league and relegated, etc. Before I simulate, here's a better look at the table so you can see the teams a bit easier than me just scrolling through. I'll go through it slowly but I don't know who's gonna win you think Liverpool would do well but then again they didn't even get out of the championship in my last video teams like Sevilla and Villarreal and maybe Leipzig I don't think are gonna do the best but I guess we'll see and some of the Premier League teams even like Arsenal and stuff like that I don't think they'll do that great but yeah I have no idea who's gonna win especially who's gonna get relegated also peep out the top that I can't spell subscribe please <laughs> All right, I'm going to simulate until the end of the first transfer window and we'll see what happens. Okay, with an hour left on deadline day, there's actually been quite a lot of transfers, seeing as the last simulation there was literally none. So, well, there wasn't none, there was only a few. I'll go through and find some of the bigger ones for you. I mean, Arsenal have sold Aubameyang and Bellerin. Brought in nine Golan, Marlin. I mean, they spent 100 million and sold 100 million, so not much has changed. If anything, I would say they got a bit worse, but, you know, whatever. Atletico have brought in some players. They have Chelsea. I mean, they've all spent a fair amount of money. Okay, Barcelona have brought in quite a few. Jesus, Boateng, Sabitzer, Sterling. Like Barcelona have just made themselves a lot stronger. Lintner have brought in Foman probably for about 100 million. Sold nine Golan and the centre back. Leicester obviously haven't done anything because I'm controlling them and I'm not doing anything. They're just taking one for the team. Liverpool haven't done much, they've just added Edin Dzeko. <laughs> City have sold Jesus and Gundogan and brought in Payet and Richarlison. United have had a couple of signings, nothing too major. Paris Saint-Germain are still spending loads of money and not really selling anyone, but I guess they're going to do what they're going to do. Leipzig have been quite busy, but I wouldn't say anything's too massive there. Real Madrid getting stronger, they've only sold Isco. And Villarreal haven't really done much. So there's quite a lot of transfers in the league. Just I wouldn't say some of them are that significant. To see what the league is looking like. Okay, so we're only four games in, but Bayern is still unbeaten, as are Liverpool, and they're top of the league. Man City, Sevilla are fourth, which I guess I don't know who they've played really, but that's kind of surprising. Leicester are up there enough. Let's have a look at the bottom half. Juventus, <laughs> Juventus are bottom, so Ronaldo's not doing the best there. Villarreal and Napoli. I mean, it's only four games, so I won't look into it too much, but I'm a bit shocked Juventus are at the bottom and Sevilla are fourth. But we'll see how it looks like at the end of the January transfer window. So I'll see you in a second, my dude. Okay, we've made it to January and I haven't been fired yet, so that's good. There's been more transfers, so I'll go through them and I'll highlight some important ones. Arsenal have signed Davis from... Bayern Munich, so get them, my dudes. Are there any other big ones? Chelsea have been selling people, not really bringing anyone in. In Bayern, have made around 120 million and just brought in Kempembe, but you know, fair play to them. Lazio have been selling people. Liverpool have done some minor transfers, as have City, really. I mean, they've got Gerard Piquet, so at least he's reunited with Pep. Ronaldo's the big transfer of the window, which says a lot. And there's not really much else here. Real Madrid have Traore. But okay, there isn't that many big transfers. There's a couple, but not really any. With this league, I did originally want to put some of the Portuguese teams like Porto and like Ajax and teams like that from Holland. But they're so low rated in terms of like average player. Like they have 70 rated in their team and then they're just going to get relegated and it's kind of boring. We know who's going to win. But on that note, let's check the league table. Okay, so looking at the league table 25 games in, Liverpool are out on top. Three points clear. Why couldn't I add that up in my head? I didn't get out of the championship in my last simulation. So if they win this league, it's just no consistency, really. <laughs> City a second, Atletico third. They're doing better than I thought, to be honest, because they're doing better than Barcelona, Bayern, and PSG. Real Madrid are in eighth. I guess you'd expect them to be doing better. Oh, look. Juventus have had a little resurgence from being bottom of the league or wherever they're in the relegation zone. We're 12th, which I think is overachieving. And in the bottom are Chelsea, Arsenal, and Napoli. Chelsea have won two games. Yikes. Well. <laughs> Arsenal managed to get promoted in the last video, the last experiment video, and now they might be getting relegated, so that's interesting. United are still mid-table. Anyone else surprising? I'll go through it slowly so you can have a look, but I would say the main surprises are Juventus are still mid-table, you'd expect them to be doing better. Real Madrid at 8, and then the relegation zone. I don't know if that's surprising because 
everyone is facing good competition each game. Speaking of good competition, I could have swore I'd turn the Champions League off, but looks like I haven't. <laughs> United are still in from our league, Man City, Sheffield United. How does that happen then? Like West Ham. Oh, I guess I would have changed it with another Champions League space from a different league. No one else from our league, Chelsea, about it, unless I'm being blind. Well, it's going to be interesting to see who wins the Champions League. If it's not someone from our league, that's just advance. Quick check on the Europa League. From our league, there is... Do we have anyone in this? Oh, we still have Spurs in the Europa League. Anyone else? All right, so Spurs need to win the Europa League. <laughs> And we need someone from our league to win the Champions League, otherwise that looks really stupid. And the European Super Cup was between Sheffield United and Crystal Palace, and Crystal Palace won, so lol. I'll sim to the end of the season now, and I'll come back and we can have a look at everything in the final standings. I'll look at the top scorers and stuff too. Get back in the end. Okay, we're at the end of the season now. This has taken ages because FIFA simulation is really slow. I haven't been fired. Almost, but I haven't been fired. All right, so the champions of this European Super League are Manchester City. I kind of thought it wouldn't be an English team, so here we <laughs> but here we are. Liverpool second, who choked it again. Bayern and Atletico finished in the Champions League spots. I expected Barcelona and Real Madrid to do better with 5th and 6th. Juventus did kind of catch up in the end to 7th, but I guess they had a slower start, which kind of penalised them. Spurs, the champions from the last video, finished 8th. PSG 9th. I think that's low for PSG, but I guess other than they have really good players, but not as much depth as the other teams, I guess. Somehow Leicester managed to finish 13th, which I think is a solid overachievement for them. United 12th, and who got relegated? Chelsea bottom of the league, Lazio and Napoli, and Arsenal managed to hang on in the end. So that's interesting. I mean, funny that Chelsea went down with 18 points. So they were the only team that weren't really as competitive. I mean, it's interesting to see who got relegated. Between Arsenal and Villarreal, there was eight points, so there was a bottom four, clearly. So yikes, I'll go through it a bit slower just so you guys can have a look if you want and pause it. I guess the overachievers, I would say are probably Atletico Madrid. Spurs did quite well. I mean, it's hard to say who overachieved and underachieved because they're all really good teams. I expected Arsenal and Chelsea to do much better than that, to be honest. Same with Lazio and Napoli. I more expected like Villarreal and Sevilla in the bottom three, but they proved me wrong. All right, did any of our team... Okay, we did have someone that won the Champions League. So Liverpool won the Champions League. Merseyside final. I mean, if we didn't have a winner in this league, that looks bad for our league. <laughs> we made it to the semis out of interest. Man United lost to Everton. All right, so Liverpool winning that one. What about the Europa League? I mean, Hoffenheim won the Europa League, which means... I think it was Spurs that were in it. Where did they get eliminated? Spurs got eliminated by Antwerp in the round of 32. <laughs> I mean, that's just weird, I guess. At least we had someone from the Champions League. What about the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup? Okay, Barcelona beat Bayern Munich 4-1 in the Carabao Cup. I guess that's some revenge for Champions League. Not really. We made it to the semis. Juventus did alright in the Cup. And what about the FA Cup? And Atletico beat Real Madrid in the Madrid derby in the FA Cup final. So two derbies. There's a derby in the Champions League, you know what I mean? We made it to the semis, just all the Spanish teams, <laughs> really, really fixated on the FA Cup. Lol at Peterborough making it to this round. I do want to see who the top scorers in the league were. So Ronaldo still manages to be the top scorer with 23. Hazard, 22. Where's Messi? Messi is down in 11th for 14 goals. Interesting. I expected him to do much better than that, but oh, there you go. Ronaldo still manages to bag in goals in this league. What about assists out of interest? Oh wait, hang on. Okay, so Mbappe is the top assist. Where was he in terms of goals? Unless I am blind, I can't see Mbappe in these top goals, which means he didn't score 11. Interesting. We got 11 assists. Suarez, Mane, De Bruyne, I guess some of the typical people you'd expect. Clean sheets, Hugo Lloris and Neuer at the top. Oh, and Alisson. Just out of interest, I'm going to check some of the other leagues, like the Bundesliga, Liga 1 and La Liga, just to see who won them. Southampton manages to finish fourth in Liga 1. Interesting. <laughs> Bundesliga, Everton win the Bundesliga. You know, get rid of Dortmund, Bayern and Leipzig and Everton just want to take over the trophy. Who else did I put in there? West Brom finished ninth and Sheffield United are almost getting relegated. And who else did I take people from? Syria, AC Milan, win then Roma. Wolves managed to finish fourth, West Ham fifth. Where did I put Newcastle? Oh, Newcastle there is ninth. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I will be doing more experimenting videos in the future. I quite like making them, I just find them interesting to do. If you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments and I'll look to do them. I've had a couple of suggestions already that I will do moving forward, but they'll be out soon enough, I guess. No idea when, soon. <laughs> anyway, but if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Evie.